Hello and welcome to this online performance of Sati's Parade. I'd like to speak a little bit about why we chose it and a bit about Sati, who was a very weird man. Why did we choose this piece? Well, there are several reasons. The first is, I'm sure it's very good music. It's very well written for all the instruments and it's witty. The movements themselves show that. He starts at the beginning with a prelude to a red curtain and he finishes the very end as a continuation of the prelude to the red curtain. His previous work or one of the earlier works was called um, Morceau en forme d'une poire, which roughly translates as a piece in the shape or form of a pear. Secondly, this piece is accessible to all and while it's challenging, it's not horrendously difficult. It includes elements of jazz, ragtime, musical and popular song. Thirdly, it includes all strings, 
brass, wind, and percussion, including some really quite weird instruments like um, football rattles, typewriter, folk horn, and a pistol. Oh, and milk bottles. <laughs> I love Sati, and I find him fascinating as a composer and as a person. Given the circumstances of having to record online, we needed a piece which works. And this one does because you can divide it up into little segments. Each segment is at a constant tempo, almost always. Each segment might be slightly different, but they're still all at this right tempo. The tunes are short and there's a lot of repetition, both, both in the harmony and the melody. And this is sort of precursor to minimalism, which is a form of music that's very much used for film and online recordings. It's really suitable. Uh, the rhythmic precision that we notice in the piece comes from uh, two, two different things. One is this was, piece was written as a ballet. And as everybody knows, dancers don't like having tempos moving around too much. Sati's character is the second reason, and he was a man who was obsessed by time and punctuality. He was famous for the regularity of his daily schedule, and I'm going to read to you some a few of his excerpts from his musings from his memoirs of an amnesiac, which are both weird and very funny. I rise at 7.18 a.m., inspired from 10.23 to 11.47. I lunch at 12.11 and I leave the table at 12.14. A healthy ride on horseback around my domain follows from 1.19 p.m. to 2.53 p.m. Another bout of inspiration from 3.12 to 4.07 p.m. From 4.27 p.m. to 6.47 p.m. Various occupations, including fencing, reflection, Immobility, visits, contemplation, dexterity, notation, etc. Dinner is served at 7.16 and finishes at 7.20 p.m. From 8.09 to 9.59, symphonic readings out loud. I go to bed regularly at 10.37 p.m. And once a week, I wake up with a start at 3.19 p.m. on Tuesdays. I breathe with care a little at a time. I very rarely dance. When walking, I clasp my sides and I look steadily behind me. My expression is very serious. And when I laugh unintentionally, I always apologise most affably. I sleep with one eye closed very profoundly. My bed is round with a hole for my head. Once every hour, a servant takes my temperature and gives me another. I have subscribed for some time to a fashion magazine. I wear black, a white cap, white stockings, and a white waistcoat. My doctor has always told me to smoke. Part of his advice runs, smoke away, dear chap. If you don't, someone else will. Now to say this is weird is a bit understated. <laughs> but behind it is a man, a real man, who was also quite humble. He had a very unusual life. And for example, he went to the Paris Conservatoire at the age of 40 to learn how to play his instruments properly, having at his own admission been very lazy about this earlier on. And he came top in performance. But he's really interesting about himself as a composer. And he said this, everyone will tell you that I'm not a musician. That is correct. From the very beginning of my career, I classed myself as a phonometrographer, which this is according to the Urban Dictionary means someone who measures sound as a poet or songwriter does it intuitively in his or her mind. I really hope you've enjoyed being part of this piece and will enjoy the performance. We've all missed being at EYSM for real but I'm very grateful, and so are we all, for you taking part and hope that the performance will remind you 
of the fun we have at EYSM and that if possible, we'll see you all next year. I send you all my best, best wishes. <laughs>